Hey, what's going on? My name is Officer Ronnie Esquivel, and thank you very much for tuning in to our vlog. So we spent the day with the Valley Division Air Operations helicopter side. Now we're gonna spend the night with the fixed wing. So let's go see what they're up to. Pilot Jeff Barbeau, how you doing? Ronnie Esquivel, thank you for uh, letting us hang out with you tonight. You bet. We kind of caught you in the middle of doing something. Can you explain to our viewers what you were doing? You did, you caught me pre-flighting okay. before every shift. We do a walk around the airplane similar to what you do with a patrol car, and that way we can ensure that the plane is safe for flight. So a full front to back 360 check of the entire aircraft yep. before you take off. What's your favorite part about working in the air operations unit? There's a lot of things I love about it, but maybe uh, you know working with a, a lot of great people, and not only our agency, but allied. It's great being instrumental in the work they do down there. Were you a pilot before you got on our department? I was. And was getting into air operations unit something that you wanted from the very beginning? In the beginning, I, I didn't really think about it, but after I was on the patrol and I learned more about the air unit, I became interested in it. And uh, down the road, I tested and got on as a pilot. Okay, so our viewers learned in the helicopter side that there's a pilot and then there's a flight officer slash paramedic. Uh, I assume that's the same on the fixed wing side? The airplane flight officers don't have to be paramedics. They're the link between the plane and the guys on the ground, and then I take care of the flying. Let me uh, introduce you to our flight officer tonight, John Pierce. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. So can you tell our viewers what's a typical day like for a flight officer here in air operations? We get to the office, we check the mission board, see if there's any pre-planned missions. And that can include anything from surveillance, to a photo mission, to helping ISU check a house, a speed enforcement, or any other pre-planned thing that we've got set up with ground units. And then we step to the plane, we pre-flight the aircraft, the pilot does his walk around in his pre-flight, okay. and I'm responsible for the things in the back to make sure they're in working order and the camera system that's beneath the plane, make sure that's clean and ready to go. So explain to the viewers what we can expect to see when we go up in a little bit. Um, we're checking for high-speed drivers, aggressive drivers, We'll be responding to 911 calls that come out from local jurisdiction as well as from CHP dispatch. On that note, let's get this plane ready to go and right. so we can go up. Pre-flight check is done and now we're getting ready to go on night patrol. So let's go. Fire up! Fire up! All right, so can you explain what you're doing right now? All right, as we taxi out, I'm setting up the radios for tonight's flight to concentrate on Sacramento with the Sacramento Sheriff and the PD and the local agencies in the metropolitan area. And what's this monitor right here? This is a dual monitor system. So this monitor right here will be on infrared the entire flight. Okay. This monitor right here will be optimized with a moving map system as well as an overlay, which will allow me to access street names and parcel numbers and addresses. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, directly off to the left, number one lane. You were behind the correct vehicle. Tracer got him. Okay, high speed, no traffic. Eastbound Atlantic. Air 21, high speed, no traffic, eastbound Atlantic. All right, we're finally in position. We are at the intersection of Wills Road. So make the right turn at Wills Road. And we are heading back towards Galleria. So it's gonna make a right turn. We're gonna go southbound. It's now Harding. So back towards Harding and Douglas. In Harding right traffic, you can start calling seats. Pulled into a parking lot and I will try and guide you in. He's parked the bike and he's off the bike. He is off the bike. Uh, stand by Jeff. He's uh, on the east side of the road. I just don't want to lose him. He's running. And then go left. Go left. Okay, I have him. He's hiding under some trees now. So just get to that parking lot and we're good. Oh 
Oh my gosh, that was one of the greatest experiences I've had on this department. I had such a blast. Flight Officer Pierce, can you tell our viewers what we experienced today? Uh, first thing we did is we grabbed a, a speeder traveling in excess of the posted speed limit on 80. Um, got them stopped as we cleared that to head back to Auburn, one of our cannon units. Tried to make a motor, uh, stop on a motorcycle in excess of 100 miles an hour. That guy took off. We assisted with that pursuit, which ended in uh, the suspect leaving the bike and running off into the bushes. So you guys are about to head back out and go assist, yes. correct? Yes, got another flight in front of us, more of the same. Awesome, I had a blast. Thank you so much for allowing us to come out and hang out You're welcome, it was a good time. Glad you flew with us, I'm glad you didn't get sick. Absolutely, hey, I was ready, I had my bags, a lot but of turns. I made it. You I did, made it. you did good. Good flying so, with you, Ronnie. Thank you so much. So I hope you liked part two of our vlog here at the Valley Division Air Operations Unit. So remember, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And if you're interested in a career with the California Highway Patrol, go to www.chbcareers.com and we'll see you at the next one.